Reasons for lose So close your eyes And you'll get into Get into a rhythm Baby, a rhythm Just close your eyes
was looking for something But I let it go What is the truth When I don't know what's fake And I don't even know If I can live this race I don't Searching for something But I let it go What the fuck is the truth When I don't know what's fake And I don't even know If I can live this race I don't know strange but I, I've, I've been all right because I've got this space so I've been just in here and yeah back from the studio really so I've been all right yeah has the You've been um doing a lot of stuff kind of online as well haven't you yeah exactly has the, so when did the shop open then yesterday oh wow and has it been busy uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like a midweek in June anyway oh right but, yeah, yeah yeah you know 
I guess all the there's a lot of stuff to sort out. No, yeah. obviously the weather's not great today, so yeah. but you know, it is kind of uh nice to be back open, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. So all yeah, right, so, so, let's, just, yeah, so, so how it goes. why don't you why don't you tell about like what was a funny memory of like me working in the shop? Well, the reason we employed you was because you were under five foot. We needed to have a small person here. And um, we asked the dole office whether they had anyone that was under <laughs> five foot so they could fit under the counter without kneeling. And this, <laughs> and they came back with you. And like, we were really yeah. confused. And we were like, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I can't, how did you get the job? I cannot remember. I know I gave you the job in here, but how did you come to get it? Um... I, I think I came in and handed my CV. Did you know you? That, big, that big pile of CVs that, that oh, yeah. you had stacked up. Yeah, we're always reading them. I'm always <laughs> reading them. They're, they're brilliant. So how long ago was it, George? When was I it? Think, I think it was... Um, five? Yeah, it was five about, years ago? No, you it was longer. Yeah, no, it, no, no, it was longer than that. I think it was about 2012 or 13. I came oh, in, okay. it was 2012, I came in, dropped my CV, Ch Chaney had um, yeah. just left the shop, and yeah. Lige called me up the next day and said, um, we've just lost a member of staff, come in for an interview, or like something. Did I come yeah. in for an interview with you? Maybe, yeah. Okay. I, no, it's just, really... make, just make it up. Yeah, you did, yeah. Make yeah. It up. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Yeah, she she came in so vibrant. Yeah. And full of life. Yeah. Knowledge. Yeah, that's it, boys. More of that. You know, I brought in an energy. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, energy. my God. Oh, the energy was massive. Energy yeah. was huge. Huge. Yeah. I'd say on a scale of one to two, her energy was like a lot. Yeah, man. Was it? A lot. <laughs> and it was... Uh, and and it was like really contagious. Not yeah. only were you really full contagious. of energy, yeah. me and Sean were like yeah. buzzing. Yeah. Everyone, was, yeah. There was like a, a, a buzz in the shop that I haven't known since. When, when you yeah. actually came in, I not, was like, man, that's a wild thing. Yeah. 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 No, it's not been yeah. the same since I left, has it really? It's not no, been the no, same. No, the yeah, no. Really low. Not yeah. been the same. I mean, if we same. could have you back, if you could have a really unsuccessful career, we would have you back. Would you? Would yeah. you actually? I yeah. don't think I do yeah, think totally. about it. So a lot of a lot of the time, I'm like, you know, you, would you, you don't have need me back? all this. You don't need all this A list Radio One stuff. So come no. come back here, man. And hang out. I mean, look well, now, at Adele. She's not happy now. Yeah, look she? at Adele. Oh, she's not happy. She always wants to come back and process records. She's and now you've got that. You've got that new space now. That could be my. Yeah, that could, you know, because I was really good at selling things. You know, I never used to get band names yeah, really wrong, good. did I? I was always yeah, bang no. on with the band names. Yeah, you know? heard Spoken Fairies. Yeah. Do we mention? Um, do we mention your record store day input? What was that? Oh, yeah. What? Well, that you oh, still, you still, still, right. you I still know. do it. I know, I still do it. And if it wasn't for lockdown, so I've done, I, I started doing the sound when I worked, started working, didn't I? Yeah. 2012, we did Record Store Day. And um, I, I set up the stage, don't I? The little one, yeah. where I, I put the sort of um, a, a lead right. around so right. people right. can't, yeah. so people can't hear. It's like the rest of our work. It's like Glastonbury. It is. Sometimes it gets really, um, you know, hectic, doesn't it? And I have to, you know, get on the mic. Yeah, you do. To... Get on the, you get right on the mic. Okay, all right. So, and I've done the sound ever since, and I'll, I'll keep doing it, you know. So, as long as... you're, you're like a PA and an MC. Exactly, yeah. I am. And so, one year, what was the year? I We had, we had a sort of, you know, just got on the mic you know because you're, you're around you want to get the crowd going don't you and I mm -hmm. I'd, you know I thought I thought it said smoking fairies I just thought and I thought that that was a good band name to be fair it is a good band name smoking fairies is is no yeah. to smoke fairies 
Yeah. Smoking fairies, I think, is a bit more out there, personally. Yeah. yeah. So smoking I. Fairies. So I announced their name wrong. That was a big difference, was... isn't it, from smoke fairies to smoking fairies? It is. <laughs> I think, there some, is a big difference, yes. I think some guy, some guy in the front, because we always get the, you know, the, the, the regulars in the shop are always at the front row. Have you noticed that in the gig? Yeah. And, um, I love he, records all the way. Yeah. And he was like, um, it's smoke fairies, not smoke. And I think I was like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Expert. Yeah. Um, what, what, um, what is your favourite record store day moment at? Out front, would it be um, the Fontaines? DC I love Fontaines. the DC Fontaines. <laughs> I love DC Fontaines. That moment was pretty memorable, wasn't it? It snowed, it hailed. Didn't it, it? Everything, it, it was sunny, then it turned yeah. grey, then it hailed, then it snowed. Like 20 minutes. Yeah. Like like 20 minutes. minutes. And then it went back to being sunny. Yeah. And I think even the boys were like looking at each other going, What's going on? Yeah, um, I know. That was a good. No, my favourite moment actually. Um, my, yeah. my my favourite moment was actually um, the Sleaford mods. Do you remember when we I was had? Just going to say, mods? did you do that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the drunk, with the drunk, the, 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 the you know, yeah. cause we get we get a lot of the you know Notting Hill kind of um, reprobates, don't we? Really. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <my kids. laughs> and um, people got nowhere to go during lockdown. Yeah. Out there now. I know this, yeah. And um, do you remember Jason was sort of like doing his thing, and then yeah. this guy just literally came on, just grabbed the mic off him. And Jason was a bit like, All right, go on then. And he just was like, Hello, <laughs> and I, like, I was literally like. I can't remember who, a basic, because it was just me and Delia, and I was like, shit, how do we deal with this? Yeah. yeah, the guy was probably gonna like beat us up or something. So I was like, go get Sean, go get Sean. And the guy was just like, hold on, you want to fuck around like this. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? And Jason was just like, oh, I can't be, I'm, I don't want to deal with this. And then as soon as you came out, Sean, he saw you, and you were just like, you took the mic off him and you were just like, go on, off you go. And he was just like, he just literally oh, started man. off. You know, was, um, you know, that was his stag do, Jason's stag do. Was it? Oh, yeah. He was getting married. The, that, he, he was having a, that was the start of his stag do yeah. day, wasn't it? I think they came, they travelled quite yeah. far and then they had to travel quite far yeah. afterwards. Wow. I think. Yeah, I think that's he, right. It was an amazing show. It was because we had been playing their, you, Chris, you had been playing their records, that what they had released so far, and we were yeah. all loving it. And the, But then to actually see how they, I didn't know how they did it live. I was assuming they'd have a band, but then when it was just them two, I yeah, thought yeah, yeah. I mean, it was kind of wicked, yeah. actually. I think that was my yeah. favourite Record Store Day performance, actually. Wow. I thought it was yeah, wicked. I think they're, yeah, they're probably mine as well. Easily. Yeah. They played um, before Adam Ann. Oh, yeah, and then there was Adam Man. That was a it's funny Adam one. And, and there was about, when Adam Ann played, there was about yeah. 200. Yeah, middle I'm not going to lie. No disrespect to Adam Ann and his, and his following, but I, I, didn't, I didn't really um, see eye to eye with Adam Ann. <laughs> you know? That's a problem. I mean, that's the problem, though. Some of those people that play, and you get there. Who's the guy who was in the Sex Pistols? Oh, he yeah, Glenn. Glenn um, Matlock. That he was... You almost had a row with him. I almost, had, I almost had a fist. You know, I was before I was going to have a old Barney with him. <laughs> he was like... he Because I do the sound, he turned around, he went, love, bring it up a bit, bring it up a bit. And I was going, if I do it anymore, you're go your guitar's going to feed back, and it's because you're going to scream at me. So I was just like, no. No, just just deal with it. And I was like, fucking hell, that's Glenn Matlow. I'm gonna have like a proper like like fight with him, you know. Amazing if you'd have had a fight with him. Yeah. <laughs> have a fight with him. You might still get the backlash, G, be careful. No, I know, I know, I know. The fans will be out there. I know, that's it. Gonna be like targeted. But um well, this, you yeah. know, we've had some amazing times here with you. Yeah, amazing times. 
you are you making are, that up now? Without, no, without doubt, you are my favourite person ever to work here with the name Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> without doubt. Yeah, I think I, I agree. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I really, yeah. You know, well, there's no, there's, one, has there one, been one, any yeah. other Georgias? Oh, yeah, yeah, loads. About 200, so you're <laughs> top. top. Yeah. yeah, we get Georgias in here every, every week working. It's weird. Get Georgias every week. Yeah. I think what? one day we'll do a, we'll do a list. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do a yeah. league table. Yeah. And we've, got, we've still got your signed, uh, signed, uh, first poster. album poster. Yeah. Yeah, that That's was. Cool. Yeah, you still got it. It's not been yeah. taken down. Formed live in concert in the I, shop. I know, I did. Yeah, one of the only bands to play yeah. non acoustically. Yeah, and also that's one of the loudest in stores uh, we've ever had. I think it was you. <laughs> and this was wasn't before, that yeah. loud. It was. I was standing over the other side was of it? the road. Yeah, was it was it? so loud. Was it? God. Yeah, it was really loud. It <laughs> sounded like the knife were playing or something. <laughs> Oh, the or so I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't believe it when I came up and it was you. I'm joking. That is so funny. Well, I mean, there's a, there's, there was a lot of amazing moments that I think I had working with you two, to be honest with you. And I was, you know, you two are just amazing. You're just amazing. <laughs> You're just amazing men, aren't you? Honestly, I'm, honestly I'm, so I'm so grateful to have met you. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have met you too. But on a well, serious note, no, seriously, on a serious note, I'd never had a job serious, quite yeah. like it before. You know, I'd, yeah. because I'd grown up with records around me, right. it felt very natural to me be, to be around records, but I'd never been in that sort of environment where, you know, you guys had always worked, you know, you'd been around that kind of culture before of like, record shit for me it was very new so I was actually going into something quite quite um sort of yeah new and I think I just I think I just really I just enjoyed it like, in the end we're just a team aren't we it's a team yeah, but, but it's like working with something that you really love so it makes it a lot easier yeah yeah totally and it was like you know it it was nice having those customers that that Some sort of them. came to me for, to get to get yeah it's just the one or two <laughs> just to get yeah. a bit of middle-aged men yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, <laughs> people that came to you they were the ones there was two with no ears yeah. <laughs> and like, what, what do you recommend and then it's like i can't believe i'm talking to a woman i know <laughs> well we used to have what about um oh who's the old jamaican guy herman herman i mean that was a story when um He's still he, around me and Cord, does he still come in the shop? Yeah, every, he does moved. It? He moved somewhere in Essex or something, but he still comes. He in. still comes in. Were you in a white suit, didn't he last time? Did yeah. he? I mean, did you? Were you working there with when me and Cords, when Rita Ora came in the shop to use it for <laughs> MTV, and no. we couldn't we couldn't get rid of Herman because we just felt like that was a dick move to be like, oh Herman, can you get out of the shop because MTV wanted to. So basically. Yeah. <laughs> You just see him, he was still at the counter talking to me and MTV are filming and then you're just seeing like Herman with Rita Ora and it's, it was just oh. really, it was really surreal. And then, and then after she left, we said, Herman, do you, you know, that was just Rita Ora and she, and he went, oh, Rita Ora, I love Rita Ora. So then I rushed out and I got a hat, I just got out to sign something for him and rushed back in and gave it to him. It was really oh, sweet. It was a sweet moment. Cool. And then who was yeah, the he, other? Who was the other guy who used to come in? Cyril. Like Cyril. Cyril. With the pusher. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, he's got a pusher now. He didn't have a yeah. pusher. He would walk. Very funny though, wouldn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he still walk. got. Well, to be honest, they were still coming in before lockdown. Uh, so hopefully. That hopefully yeah. they didn't come to the COVID and they stayed in and looked after themselves. That was the funny. they'd be all right. They're indestructible people like that. That was the funny story of me, Cordelia. It was probably you in the back, Sean. I don't think Chris, you were work. You weren't working, but it was when um, oh, what's that actress called? Who came? Um, Nicole Kidman. Yeah. 
Really? Nicole Kidman came in. It was on a, maybe it was on a Sunday, so none of you were working. No, it was, yeah, it was a Sunday, so I remember yeah. hearing about it. Yeah, Nicole Kidman came in with her husband, um, what's his, Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Who looks like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. He <laughs> walked in, really like, sort of pristine. We, me and Cordelia were like, no fucking way that is nicole right. Kidman in the shop and they were just like they were just like they were kind of having this like love lovers moment where they were kind of making oh out and then God. and then looking through the vinyl and then she came up to the counter and i was like oh you know can i help you with anything and she was like um she was very elegant and she just sort of went can you recommend me five vinyls you know and i was like and they so then I pulled out five five records for them to hear. They never heard of Curtis Mayfield. I thought that was quite interesting. Um, wow. And then and then I gave them a Death Grips. I played them Death Grips. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why we love you. That's why that you was were wicked. That was good. That was. But that you were really good because some people you get some people that work here and they just can't get their head around the fact that you've got to kind of be open to whatever you're going to get asked. Or, yeah, to actually, totally. or to actually, um, what's yeah, the word? Yeah. Or to offer something. You yeah, know, to, no, completely. A lot of people do you, just don't do that. Do you have you're a... You're open. You're um, open. You get asked, aren't you? Uh, what? Open. What did you say? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. Forget about it. Here you go, guys. Here's an insight into the actual... Yeah, let's see. You got more, more please. We'd like more. I'm not going to get done. You're going to get done from this. <laughs> what's, what's, your, what's one of your favourite memories of working in the shop, both of you? When, um, from, for you? No, 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 when, no. When you asked Thurston Moore, when you told him you loved oh, his God. wild thing, <laughs> instead of cool thing, and he was just oh, like, you. Oh, you, mean cool thing? you were like, yeah, yeah, wild thing. <laughs> but saying that, he just loved you more for that. Oh, he loved that you more. Was... Imagine how many people go up to him oh, and go. That, oh, that oh, was such a perfect. fucking. My whole world imploded at that moment. I was like, "Fuck!" I just remember coming, coming to see you lot in the back, going, "Oh fuck! I've really like <laughs> really <laughs> fucked my, up." My, my absolute favourite story from from here. This is the last thing I've got. I've got loads of stuff to do, so I've got to go. Okay. Um, but was when we were having problems with the drains downstairs, right. and the whole shop <laughs> had an sure. aroma of poo. It smelled oh, shit. <laughs> it was really terrible. So we used to have this guy that came in, and he was about four foot, and you used to have to give him a stool to stand on to listen to listen to music <laughs> and um, this, this, the guy was listening to music rocking out and there was <laughs> just a smell and then these two came in and started nonsing around and looking at things and then the little guy takes the headphones off turns around to the models and goes smells of fucking shit in here to them. And they were just like, they were like, oh, and ran out. It was so funny. Yeah, I remember that. Because he had a really, oh, like, my deep, God. Really, like, deep voice, oh, croaky voice. Shit in it. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Well, I've got to go because I'm going to the post office. All right. Well, what but, about um, you, Chris? One quick one memory. Um, oh, my God. I've got to try and think of something. Getting sacked? <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, let me think. So uh, I'll leave you to I can tell you. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you. George, I'll speak to you soon. Love you, Sean. See you at Brixton Academy, yeah? I'm yeah. playing a good gig there next week. No, but we'll, we'll, no, but we'll, we'll do our little annual catch-up. It's not annual, yeah, monthly. Yeah, yeah. All right, exactly. then. Exactly. Don't be annual. Pretend we're better friends than that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my I think my one oh my god yeah. my memory is so bad I, th I think lot, the most you've had a lot of great moments like there's been a lot of amazing yeah. things haven't there I think the most star, I don't really get starstruck that often 
but the person I got most starstruck by was by the the lady. Yeah. I don't even know what her name is, yeah. but she played Haley Cropper in Coronation Street. <laughs> she honestly, when she came in, and I was just like, oh my god. I could hard I could hardly speak. And John Taylor from Duran Duran, that was pretty cool. Oh that was, oh, was I there with you for that? You might have been. I think you I think it was. It was pretty surreal. Yeah, I, I think I was there in the shot with yeah. that. I mean the thing is, rough okay. people people in bands and people tend to come to Rough Trade West more so than East, yeah. don't they? Because it's got the intimacy and it's yeah. it's just got the staple workers that work yeah. you know, and it's I think cause and also other than other than yeah. this conversation, we don't really like if someone comes in, we won't like yeah paste it all over social media and exactly you know. Yeah, and there was another that... time when Bjork used to come in a lot. Yeah, yeah. And she she would just really sweet. She didn't really say much, but she was really friendly. Yeah. And she would just listen to loads of stuff when we had the CD player on the counter. And there's yeah. this one guy who comes in, I'm not going to name his name. Right. And uh, he said to me, I'm going to ask for an autograph. And I was like, please oh, don't. No. I was like, just just leave it. Just let her get on with it. Or do it outside. Oh. And he was like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then he did it. And she just looked at him and I thought, oh my oh, God. Then she she did it. And then she went back. Luckily, he left oh. her alone. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's a been a. Better. What about when you used to say how Diplo and and Mia used to come in early on? Oh yeah, yeah. And they used to bring. Where well, Mia? This was just when I started here, so it was like 2001, yeah. 2002. And Mia was just kind of well. She lived around the corner. Yeah, yeah. And there was a guy who used to work here called Billy, right. who she was friends with, and he. Um, it was kind of like through her. And him yeah. and Steve Mackey from Pulp, yeah, and Richard Russell. That I guess she kind of became, mm. what, kind of got us out. So, mm. like you know, we were the first shop that had like Galang White labels, and so good. You know, it, and it just kind of yeah, and I think it's kind of yeah stemmed from there. Yeah, yeah and Diplo that, used to come in and bring his mix CDs. That's the Ronson. other thing. Yeah, Ronson. I've I've served Ronson many times, but that was the there's other thing funny, because. But what? What? Go on. There's a funny story with him, and he never yeah. lets me forget it. Is when he came in, and I guess I kind of when I started here, I was like the main dance buyer, I guess, which yeah, I did were. for a while, and um, I didn't know who he was. He wasn't really unless you kind of maybe frequented yo-yo at that early stage, even if it was yeah. still going then, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was. So it he was. came in with this mix CD. He came in with his mix CD and uh, he was like, oh, will you stop? I'm a big fan of the shop. Will you stock some of these? So he left it with me and then he came back maybe the next day or day after and I said, no, it was shit. He <laughs> gave it back to him. <laughs> and he's never, yeah, he's never let me forget that. You were quite... You, yeah, you were like, you were quite, you were honest. You're honest about yeah. it, aren't you? You can't fill the shop up with loads of rubbish. We should also say that you are the main go-to with Elton, aren't you? We should probably say <laughs> that. We should we should tell that whole story of how that happened. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I just, um, I guess, uh, maybe just it comes through being manager of the shop. I don't really know. He, I guess he first bought some records from us. He came um, in with me and Chords. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he came, yeah. Yeah, he came in and, and got, you know, pulled up outside and mm. all his security or whatever. And yeah. then, I don't know, I guess just over time, it's, I've just kind of got this email relationship with him. Mm. And uh, I just send him a list of what's new out that week and then he'll tell me what he wants and, and away it goes. But yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah he's super cool. He's he always he knows so you know he always bigs you up. He's always well, like he's always like Chris Summers at Rough Trade West. I love that. I think that's amazing. I know. So good. I know. During lockdown, it was getting ridiculous. Like every love week, it. there was another thing he did where he mentioned me. I know. And, then, and I was like, it's amazing. Well, Elton, yeah. if you hear this, I love you too. I know. And I, I also, if Elton hears this, he's been. He's been playing my music, and I don't think he actually yeah. knows that I used to work 
at Rough Trade West. So if he yeah. does hear this, I've probably, I have served him records, you know, at one point. Well, what, whatever happens with this, if you send me the link, and if that's still in it, then I'll send it on to him. Yeah, yeah, that would be brilliant. Because you never know with someone like him how much he actually, how much social media he actually takes in, or no, of course, he's probably got someone that I like doctors really, it. Or he, he he played me on his show, and he was really he was so complimentary, and it was like, yeah. and then I didn't have a, I wanted to direct message him, but I guess it's just his social media team. But if he yeah. sees this, it'd be really sweet because yeah. I definitely I definitely remember us having to close the shop. And yeah. he came in, and I remember, I remember because it was, I was, it was with Cordelia, I think, and he had, you know, he, he just, he, he was telling us the story of, of how he, how he had got rid of all his vinyl back in the day, oh, and yeah. he was getting it all back, you know. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's, yeah. Yeah. If you want to get in touch with him, I, I can put you in. He, he doesn't do stuff like that. But if yeah. you do want to get in touch with him, I can put you in touch with someone that will get you to him. Uh, yeah, the mafioso. The mafioso. Yeah. Can't get through one to get into the other. Yeah, but he's like, he. Yeah. The, um, do you remember there was a? Do you remember that kid James Batsford? Yeah. 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 He did work. He work at Domino. He did work. He still work at Domino. He still works at Domino. Well, anyway, a few weeks, during lockdown, he's putting together a vinyl box set of Laura Nairo. Oh, yeah. And um, Elton's a big fan, and he wanted people to do, like, a little piece for this booklet. Oh, so he emailed yeah. me and said, I know you know him. Can you ask him to see if he'd do it? And within two days, it was done. Wow. So, obviously, oh, okay. you don't have to put this on the film. I'm just talking to you as a friend. No, 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 I know. Well, that's that'd be amazing. Yeah. That'd be incredible. I think we should... I think there's definitely he should definitely stay in this because this is for Love Record Store. So, and he's a big supporter. Oh, of it. He loves them. I know, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I think that's, this is great, Chris. That's, that's enough, I'm sure. sure. I mean, unless there's anything else that you think be good to add in about the shop or you or. I don't think so. I think you've got it all and yeah. you know what you did and. How good you were! You were honestly really good here, and you were like, "I got the there." Of, but I you're got... the type of person you want working in a record shop that can be quite tough yeah. sometimes. Yeah, well, there were situations where it didn't yeah. get quite, you know, because the the shop is, you know, it's it's quite exposing, and then you're you're getting out. You know, the thing about our, our shop is, is that we let anybody. In, well, all shops, but you know, there were some yeah, yeah, yeah. situations where you were like suddenly like surrounded by like sort of crackheads yeah. and you had to be like excuse me now's the time to leave please yeah um but it's also no it's also knowing how to deal with someone you know oh yeah oh yeah i've got a good that story that like people someone that... sorry sorry no i was gonna say so it's yeah. re you were really good at dealing with people also that some people can still feel intimidated when they come in a shop like this yeah so, yeah you, know, you need to make them feel like like it isn't like it was, you know, yeah, 20 yeah. years ago or whatever. Well, exactly. So, I think that, anyway. was, that was always my thing was that, you you know, we want we wanted to create loyalty, didn't we? And it was like, you know, a safe, yeah. safe space for people. But there was this one, yeah. there was this one t particular time, I do remember it being, being quite di hard. This guy came in, typical kind of Notting Hill bloat, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking my car down to the south of France and I, I really I, I, I really love the reggae and I, I really <laughs> want um, can you recommend me some reggae and oh, that's no. when I was like wow oh no and I just kept it going you know I said oh yeah yeah we got some great reggae actually yeah reggae yeah, yeah we got some sometimes you have to, you just have to do it like that don't you because you don't yeah. want to appear like no like an it yeah. I don't know yeah it's yeah. where you just have to gauge it yeah, but there was some, honestly, I have to say that my favourite times in my life were in that shop. It really was. Well, I, love, I loved every moment. Even, even the stacking of the, the old, uh, you know, stop taking and all of that. All oh, the I really, I yeah. did love it. I loved it. You know. Good. Great. Well, if we're still here and you, you need something, you can always come back. Oh. 